Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here. It is October 30th and we are in week two of three of the Taken Curse, but really we are in the third of six Ascendant Challenges. So this is the third of six Ascendant Challenges, a guide showing you guys where the lore is located at in there and what you have to expect in the Ascendant Challenge. If you're going to go solo it, you should, probably should be about 4, 540, 550, I'm guessing somewhere in there. Um, and just kind of the general run through of how to get there and what you got going on. So... Where we're going is basically um, out into the beginning zone. So we're going to go kind of take a quick U-turn through the blue, through the observatory, and kind of head way the heck out here onto a rock. So let's jump on our sparrow and get this piece going. Make sure you do have a couple bounties. One, your Ascendant Challenge bounty, of course. And if the daily bounty does it include the um, fine Toland in the Ascendant Realm, that one's also a good one to pick up as well. Pretty easy to knock out if you're doing this thing. He will be in there somewhere. You just have to find him. Now, Tolan's not always in the exact same spot. And that's one thing to remember. Um, won't always be in the same spot. Come on, Sparrow. Oh, I actually made that jump. I can never make this one, though. So, tried it too many times. Never do make it. So, I'll just kind of get a jump. And clear it. One of these times, I'll get my Sparrow over here. I've yet to figure out how to do it, though. Once you're over here, we're actually heading way out to the rocks, out to my right over there. So there's a couple quick ways to get there. Um, you can, if you have the um, Tincture of Queen's Foil on, actually make a pretty quick run of it over this direction. And since I should have plenty of time, I'm actually going to show you guys what that looks like. So Tincture of Queen's Foil, make sure you got plenty of those. Pop that one, and you should be able to find a way down right here. This is a little quicker version of getting down, actually. I'm supposed to go in the full long route around. Psych. In case you do need to go in the portal, you can go back there. But this is the quick way, as opposed to going all the way around the entire observatory. It takes a little longer. You should have half an hour popping your tincture of Queen's Foil this early. Should not really be a factor. As you come up here, you might have a few quick enemies to take out. Not a big deal, generally. One more straggler here. Might give you a little bit of ammo you need, possibly. You never know. Hey, what do you know it did? Ha. So as you head out here to the rocks, you'll probably have one more straggler here. Try and tag this one. Watch for those triple shots as they go. They've been more generous with heavy ammo recently, just in general. I don't know if it's a patch or something or what. But once you climb up on this rock, um, you're going to be out looking, if you're wondering where I'm at on the map. So you got this walkway, no more bridges. First one, and you're going to kind of jump straight out into the portal. So let's go. Alright Guardians, once you come into the Shattered Ruins, you're going to see a pretty tall structure that basically you have to climb. Now Toland will potentially be around somewhere. You're going to look for his twitchy little ball of light. Uh, he may not be visible right now. Also as you're climbing up, you're going to be doing some jumping. You'll notice some platforms will rotate and then some are going to be stationary and there's going to be a few snipers peppered throughout. When you get towards the top, up in, you know, kind of one of these rock areas, you'll see some Shattered Thrall that actually will spawn and start hopping down. So you want to look for those. And if you're looking for the lore location, when you're hopping up, you guys see how there's two statues right here. The one on my right from the entrance, so if you're looking at them and you can see their faces, you'll see the little hand. And right where the hand kind of attaches back to the body, about where my cursor would be, is right about where the lore spot is. I'll show you once we get up there, but just kind of pointing it out before I get there so you guys can see it from the big picture view. But you want to jump up here over here to the left, and then we'll work our way up. Now again, there are going to be things that want you not to get up to the top, so you're going to be looking for little Taken Blasters trying to launch you off. You might be seeing things like um, exploding Blights throughout, possibly some Taken enemies that will be going for you as well. So just watch where you're jumping, see what's happening around you, and just be aware. Those little things are going to try and knock you off the whole time. And if you fall down and die, you get to jump all the way back out. Now we found Tolan's little ball, could be down here in the bottom, could be somewhere towards the top. But if you do have the daily bounty, it's an easy one to go over here. Just stand by him, pick it up. He's not always in the we same spot. The darkness because we believe it is wrong. Evil. No, no, no. There is one reason to be afraid. There we go. The that one's taken out. Right. And if you are looking for a kind of a general reset, come back here and always looking for this place towards the front, the little baby lamp. That has the stairs on it. Stairs are actually one of those things that are going to kind of guide you through this. They are actually something you're going to look for as a actual path that you're going for. So work your way around to this one. Going to jump up on this guy. More stairs. As you come up this direction, watch for uh, those, actually. <laughs> I 
As I was just talking about. Now, there are going to be some taken enemies. Look for the vandals if you see them. And if you can see one, you might likely be able to see another, but maybe not. I did knock him back a little bit, but I do know he's there. So again, once you see the stairs, make sure you get up here as quick as you can. Now, once you jump up to this platform, be careful. Now's your time to find your vandals. See if there's any around. Check your surroundings. Nothing yet. So you notice this is kind of the one central platform. You have two that hit from either side, so be careful. But really, if you jump up here from the stairs, you just want to turn around and come back up to this staircase. Pretty much right the same direction you came from. Now, there's another blaster. These are the two statues. The lore is actually going to be tucked over there. And we've actually got a hobgoblin over there. Might be able to take him out a little early. There you go. So usually what I try and do if I see a blaster getting ready to charge, this is one of the rotating rocks, so be careful when you're on it. I kind of actually whiffed it there, so you guys can see. If you do fall down, just take a second, gather your surroundings. This is that central platform I was jumping from before. Uh, I was looking for the stairs, so I actually want to get to the other side of it. So wait for one of the blasters to go. Make sure you have at least a somewhat a safe spot to land. These edges are safe. Come back to the middle and look for the stairs again fall down it's not the end of the world now if you're going for the time trial that's going to be a little different if i do that one i actually will try and show you guys a time trial run on a separate video just because i know some of you guys are looking to complete this thing others of you are looking to just honestly um knock out all the triumphs and achievements so this is the little hand i'm talking about got a vandal up top excuse you sir gotta get a view on him maybe i knocked him down i don't know but when you head towards a couple of these, you're going to have a little tricky landing spot. Now, that was a little closer than I would have liked, but you'll notice you'll see the ground basically have that taken blast. Come over here across this way, same thing. Usually going to be in the middle, so if you land on some of the edges, that'll help. Watch for your vandals. And again, as you get closer up, there are going to be some enemies that eventually spawn up on that top section. Now, if you're looking for the lore piece from here, wait for it. Jump on the giant orb. Now, I've already picked it up so you can't see it, but it would literally be right there. So just tucked on that one. This is not a bad place to wait for this rock to actually have a pretty smooth surface. Or if you want to jump back, you can use this one. As long as you don't, don't, don't get popped up in the air to try and come up here. Watch the blaster. Up here to the stairs. Again, stairs, they do not rotate. Now, you guys can notice once you get up to about this tier, this level, you're going to see some Shadow Thrall spawning. This is my good old uh, go figure, just melting them down. You might have two waves that should not be infinite, to my knowledge. They do eventually stop spawning at some point. Or it could be completely wrong and they're just going to keep going. Maybe if it's just me standing here. So there are about three waves of those. Uh, then you can work your way around to this platform, a little geode. Jump on the statue head. If you're looking for the eggs for Wish Ender, there is one of them when you get towards the top, kind of tucked behind almost one of these little hanging spires over here. So when you get towards the top, look for that one. If there's any more in here, I definitely missed them, but that's one of them for you. Head towards here, and we're going to have a big phalanx that spawns in the middle. So you'll notice there are blasters around the edges of this. So what you're actually really going to want to do, hang out towards the outside and try and finish this guy in one way or another. You can use super, you can use sleeper, whatever you got. Try and do it quick, because he gets to be a little annoying. Now, if he jumps down, you want to be very careful. Because he will try and act, like blast you off the edge. Um, if he jumps back up, you know, try and finish him quick. If he jumps back down, hit him with a grenade, super. I've seen people kill him pretty quick with just your own super. May not be quite as fast. I'm just showing you guys, if you do have to work him down, do it from range. Actually, he did die. And my chest spawn. Oh, he died quicker than I thought he did. But yeah, that's kind of what you want to do, whether it's a grenade, whether it's sleeper, whether it's your super. He's not overly difficult. Now I'm 590 doing this one, so he will probably die a lot faster for me than, say, if you're like 530, 540, 550. If he's that rate, you're going to probably have a captain that comes in at some point and just stay mobile. Literally just running around the outside of this thing, clearing it up pretty, and just always trying to stay mobile, throwing some damage. Even if you peek back, shoot a couple times and keep moving around. I did this at a lower level the first time I did it, so it is still possible. Uh, just keep in mind, watch for those vandals. They will hurt a lot more if you're at a lower level. And that is the Ascended Challenge for this week. This is Ascended Challenge number three. This is Shattered Ruins, and it is October 30th. Hopefully this video did help you guys out. If you did enjoy it and if you found it helpful, leave a like below. It definitely helps me out on all my videos. 
Uh, you can follow me on Twitch or Twitter. See Bontis on both. But if you get, did find this one helpful, I do videos like this all the time. So subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button and the alert bell. Keeps me in your feed when, it, feed when I put new stuff out and also helps support the channel growth, which lately has been absolutely amazing. Um, Breaking 20 just absolutely is blowing me away. So thank you all for the support. Hope you're having fun. Uh, make sure you guys check out the uh, curse from Amanda Holiday. Er, curse? Ha! Huh. The quest from Amanda Holiday and all of that stuff she's got going on. If Festival Lost is not around and you're watching this, well, it was around previously. But for the rest of you guys, jump on through that portal and let's head on out and just pop out here into the spine of Kar Karis. But thank you all for tuning in. And if you do for some reason want to jump back in there, potentially you can do that on other characters. Um, or you might just have to reload the Dreaming City. If you're going for the time trial, things like that, you may just have to reload it. But thank you all very much. Have an awesome one. And I will see you in the next one. Enjoy your week.